I am engaged to a wonderful woman. She's here in the crowd today. Her name is Susie. Everybody give her a round of applause. And she's holding her belly because the baby was due two days ago. And she's trying to hold it in. <laughs> she's like, no, 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 no. Daddy's on stage. Later, later. Now I'm going to be a father. I'm going to be a new husband and father. I'm excited about it. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's the weakest fucking applause for a new father to I've ever fucking heard. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. <laughs> this is wild. <laughs> so she's pregnant and pregnancy is an interesting thing any women who here who have been pregnant have children give yourselves a round of applause you guys went through a lot Good. now pregnancy is an interesting thing I could never hope to understand it from the standpoint of a woman I could never it's impossible. That's going to come out of that? Holy fucking shit. There's no way. But I understand it from the standpoint of a male. And from the standpoint of a male, the biggest change in my life has definitely been the sex life. Right? Initially, sex night is awesome. There's no consequences to anything at all! I can wax this ass till infinity! Really? Nothing on the wax this ass to infinity? <laughs> That's like a Buzz Lightyear. No, anyways. <laughs> you know, the interesting thing is that's actually how I make love. There's, there's no technique at all. I'm not in control of my own body. I like to call it the Michael J. Fucks. <laughs> so sex life changes. Initially it changes. Initially it changes for the better. You know, but that's at about three, four, five months. By the time you hit eight, nine months, if I want to have sex, I gotta hire a, hire a structural engineer. I gotta go down to Home Depot, get a whole bunch of ex, uh, you know undocumented workers come into my house, operate the pulley system I built in my bedroom. I'm trying to have sex. I'm like, no, you gotta lift the leg up. You gotta lift the leg up. No say, no say, senor, no say. You gotta lift the leg up! Lift the fucking leg! <laughs> Shouting doesn't really work. <laughs> so no, you know, it's exciting. You know, sex life is changing. You know, there are a lot of awe moments in the pregnancy too. Moments where you're just, your heart melts out of your body through your anus. And, you know, you just feel like full of life and golden sunlight or whatever. You know, one of those moments is the first time the baby kicks. Right, the first time the baby kicks, and she's sitting on the couch, holding her belly. She's like, something has changed, you know? She looks, Charlie, come here. I, th I think the baby's kicking. I think the baby's kicking. I come over, feel the belly, and as soon as the baby kicks, the second the baby kicks, our eyes just gravitate towards each other and it's beautiful and it's wonderful it's it, it just feels amazing again that's at four or five months eight months is more like this oh your child is killing me what have you done to me oh. So I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited about being a father. Um, there's not much else I had to say unless people want to hear about my bowel movements. <laughs> so we should take a yay and nay vote at this point. Yay. So anybody for bowel movements yell yay. Anybody against bowel movements yell nay. On the count of three. One, two, three. Yay! All right. I love talking about some bowel movements. No, they're frightening to death. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know how many times I've sat at, over my bowl, you know, just after, in, the, in the aftermath of the event, when 
I'm looking down with the scrutiny of an Israeli diamond cutter. You know, with the perplexity of Robert Langdon when he's trying to uncover a cipher to discover the secrets of the Holy Grail. Just looking. You know, last week, I took a shit. I took a shit, no fucking lie, that looked like a bowl of Lucky Charms. Just fucking un, 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 you know, unloaded out of my head. A bowl of fucking Lucky Charms. You know, you know, blue diamonds, purple horseshoes, fucking green clovers, all that shit in the bowl. It was not magically delicious. It was the exact opposite of magically delicious. It was scientifically disgusting. And I got worried. I was like, I need to go to the doctor. I need to go to the doctor. This is not normal. I should not be shitting green clovers. So I go to the doctor. I'm like, do I have cancer? Do I have cancer? Do I have cancer? He does the little check. You know, why do they gotta snap the, the, you know, why do they gotta snap the little glove before they put their finger in your ass? Like, that's just scary. Anyways, so he puts the finger in the ass, does his little thing, says, uh. Oh. I'm like, what, what, what? Do I have cancer? He's like, no, you don't have cancer. You, have, you probably have irritable bowel syndrome. I was like, that's shit, the doc, that's some fucked up shit. And he said, yeah, exactly, and for the rest of your life. Thank you, everybody. My name is Charlie Spees, Funny Man Charlie.